Good day, guys. Uh, this right here is our buddy's uh, 2005 Mustang. As you can see, it's not in perfect shape right now. It was in a bit of an accident, and uh, well, he bought it for cheap to try and fix it up. It hydroplaned while going uh, on a highway and went into a ditch filled with water, so it was like up to here covered in water. So yeah, the engine isn't running right now, and this side was mostly damaged. Uh, roof and this side is all still pretty mint used to be a very good looking car so gonna try to make it look like that again and me and Jason are gonna help him try to rebuild it and and this the reason that he is rebuilding this car is because this town where we grew up this car was the first car who actually the owner actually spent some money into this car is well, let's just say it was the king of the streets like four years ago or two, three years ago. And yeah, it just has those sentimental values. So stay yeah. tuned. And yeah, it had things like Shelby wheels. These are not the wheels that it had on. And he did things like he had a, as a short shifter, uh, wrapped the interior, uh, just a couple things. Well, he had side skirts on, I guess I'll show you on this side. And just did random little things, has a Total body spacer, small little things. He did have the window louvers and the scoops right here, but those are all taken off. And he has uh, sequ sequential tail lights, things like that. I'm gonna put a couple pictures on there of how it used to look. But yeah, we're gonna start by trying to take out the engine. We already took out a lot of wires and hoses. Gonna work on taking that out and try to rebuild it. We're gonna try to get it running first before we do any cosmetic stuff. As long as we get the engine running first and go from there. We've taken off uh, quite a few of the wiring and stuff like that. Trying to take off the exhaust underneath. I'm working on taking out the rad stuff like that. And uh, he's just taking out the fender right now. So we don't scuff it up by leaning on it. This fender is fucked up anyways. So yeah, we're just going to take that one off so we don't mess it up. Just going to figure out how to take that off. But yeah, we have a little bit of trouble with taking out the exhaust, but we're gonna work on that later. As you can see, there's a lot of mud underneath the car, as it was, it went into a quite a muddy ditch uh, filled with water, so. It used to have pretty cool wheel lights, but those are messed up as well. It does have aftermarket suspension. That's cool as well. And uh, also has this uh, tension bar right here. Nice one as well, so, yeah. You didn't pay a lot for it, so even if uh, doesn't get it running there's still quite a bit of parts in there it's uh, now the next day uh, I haven't shown you guys an update on what we all did I took out the rad took out uh, the ECM I think yeah EC ECM or ECU and I think Phil already took out the drive shaft from underneath and Motor motor mounts are disconnected. It just needs to have the transmission mounts disconnected, the shifter from the inside, take that apart, and then it should be ready to go out. There's a couple more clips, but she's almost good to pull out. Yeah, I'm just gotta find uh, mounts yet to uh, hook the chains up. Got the engine hoist here, so shouldn't be too hard. Jason's uh, working on taking out the shifter unit right there. And I think we got pretty much everything loose from the engine. I think so anyways. If not, we're gonna find out later. But yeah, I think we're gonna probably use this bolt right here to mount to the front and we're gonna use one of the transmission bolts to mount to the back. Okay, so he is taking off the transmission bolt. Good. He's got two more to go. One more. Okay, one more. Sucker, this there we go. The, those are all the transmission bolts. Engine is ready to go. We got the engine out like halfway already. And we just gotta make sure we have all the lines and the wires and everything out before we pull everything off. Yeah, it's on its way out. Doesn't seem, it uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be extremely hard. <laughs> but yeah. We'll see. We might be here nine hours later still and trying to figure this out. Got the engine out this far already. Just gotta 
put out the last line, to get out the last line, stuff like that. Yeah, Jason's just chilling underneath there. Transmission in Yeah, I think it's working out fine. Should have it out in a couple of, well, who knows. Hours, probably. Debo. Well, the engine is out now. Uh, this is just some of the dirt that we've gotten from out underneath the well, car. Wait until we remove the transmission. The transmission bell hosing is filled with dirt. Yeah, I was definitely had a big pile of dirt when I went to the ditch. There's a lot of dirt underneath it. Completely dirty, like just a lot of dirt. Yeah, engine is most definitely shot, so. Gonna start taking that apart, see if it's worth rebuilding or if just gonna replace it. See, Got the engine completely out now, and we just took out the transmission. This was all dirt that was in the bell hosing. Clutch and everything is just rusted. So yeah. Well, that's probably as far as we're gonna work on this for now. We're gonna try to get the engine working or get a new engine that works. And then see how much of the wiring and stuff that, like that we have to replace. So yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and well, catch you next time.